In India's textile city Surat, the flavor of elections is captured on fabric. This sari has the image of Mirage 2000 fighter jets that carried out the Balakot airstrikes on 26th February 2019. There is another one of the world's tallest statue, the 182 meter tall statue of Sardar Patel in Kevadia. These two are seen as big achievements of the Modi government. And here in Surat, election season has put them center stage. Surgical strike wali sari ka kya hai? Actual uh, surgical strike is our country's country. So we have applied it to this country. And how many sari did you make? How many sari did you make? We make it every year. And according to the order, it is made by the order. तो इसके लिए वो कोई नहीं है कि हम कब बनाएं कब नहीं बनाएं जब जब इसका ऑर्डर रहता है तब हम बना लेते हैं 29 ईयर ओल्ड दीप मोदी इज अ थर्ड जनरेशन टेक्सटाइल मर्चेंट ही रन्स दिस शॉप इन सूरत्स फेमस जेजे एसी मार्केट ही सेज ऑल कंसर्न्स रिलेटेड टू जीएसटी हैव बीन एड्रेस्ड बाय द सेंटर एंड अनलाइक 2017 this time, traders stand with the BJP. Suratware belt pe aam aadmi party ki charcha ho rahi hai. Textile ka jo nohne apna vision bataya hai, jo points bataya hai. Kya aap jaise businessmen usse convinced hai? Actual, aam aadmi party ne jo vision bataya hai, uske liye to mein kuch bol nahi sakta hoon. Mein third generation ka hoon, mere ko saruat se leke abhi tak, jitna bhi experience hai, yeh bhaartiya janta party ki baat kar raha hoon, मेरे को जब से समझ आया तब से लेके अभी तक मैंने जो डेवलपमेंट देखा है तो मेरे को नहीं लगता कि इससे बेहतर और कोई डेवलपमेंट कर सकता है और मुफ्त का देखे अगर कोई चीज़ का डेवलपमेंट हो गया है तो उसको और कौन डेवलप कर सकता है आप एक बात समझिए अगर केजरीवाल ये चाहते हैं कि हम गुजरात को और विकासशील बना सकते हैं जबकि गुजरात पहले से विकासशील है डेवलपमेंट ऑलरेडी हो चुका है तो इससे बेहतर वो और क्या करेंगे सरकार से क्या अपेक्षाएं हैं? क्योंकि लास्ट टाइम पांच साल पहले काफी नाराजगी थी सूरत के ट्रेडर्स में, लेकिन फिर भी उन्होंने भाजपा के साथ वोट किया था। इस बार क्या है? इस बार भी मेरे को नहीं लग रहा है। हाँ थोड़ी हवा बनी है कि ये आम आदमी पार्टी कुछ फर्क कर गिराएगी यहाँ पे। पर मेरे को नहीं ल कि कौन काम करता है और कौन कौन काम नहीं कर पाता है अब दिल्ली देख लो पंजाब देख लो उनकी हालत देख लो आप मेरे को नहीं लगता कि उससे कुछ इतना फर्क पड़ेगा हाँ थोड़ी लीडिंग में थोड़ा ऊपर नीचे प्रॉब्लम आएगा बस टेक्सटाइल मार्केट में लास्ट टाइम कंसर्न्स थे जीएसटी से रिलेटेड अभी उस तरह के कंसर्न्स है पर अभी जीएसटी तो समझो कि हम लोगों को अभी हमारे हर रोज का काम हो गया तो उसके हिसाब से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है हाँ जीएसटी जितना फर्क गिराना था उतना गिरा लिया अभी जो भी है मार्केट पूरा स्टेबल हो गया है जीएसटी के हिसाब से लोग अपने हिसाब से बिजनेस कर पाते हैं और प्योर होता है मतलब पक्के का हो जाता है टोटली तो उसके हिसाब से जी पहले तकलीफ दी पर अभी बेटर है ओवरऑल योर बिजनेस वॉट इज द शिफ्ट दैट यू है ग्रोथ कैसा है बिजनेस में? एक्चुअल अभी मार्केट स्टेबल है, पर इसमें जितना करो उतना कम है। कोई वो नहीं है या उसमें डाउनफॉल भी आता है, अपफॉल भी आता है, तो उसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आता है, बेटर है। अराउंड 90 परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया का पॉलीएस्टर सप्लाई कम्स फ्रॉम सूरत। देर आर नियरली 200 टेक्सटाइल मार्केट्स फॉर होल and over 70,000 trading shops. The textile industry is one of the oldest and most widespread industries in Surat and employs close to 15 lakh people. A major part of the city's population is associated with this industry. Rangnath Sharda is the director of the Federation of Surat Textile Traders Association. A first-generation businessman, Rangnath came from Nagore in Rajasthan 35 years ago. 
पैंतीस साल पहले नागौर छोड़ करके राजस्थान से आप गुजरात आए क्या फर्क दिख रहा है गुजरात में देखिए गुजरात का फर्क पूरे देश को दिख रहा है विदेश को दिख रहा है जब हम गुजरात नागौर से पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन करके मैं यहाँ आया तब न तो कोई नाम था न पैसा था कुछ भी नहीं था आज सब कुछ मिला है गुजरात से गुजरात ने बहुत कुछ दिया है आते ही यहाँ पे हमें काम मिला काम मिलते ही जैसे छोटी सी दुकान थी धीरे धीरे व्यापार होलसेल बढ़ा और जब मैं आया तब यहाँ पे एक लिमिटेड मार्केट थे और सूरत में पहले एक ही मार्केट था सूरत टेक्सटाइल मार्केट आज के चालीस साल पहले वो मुरारजी देसाई के कर कमलों से उसका उद्घाटन हुआ था आज वैसे सूरत में करीबन 200 दो सौ मार्केट है और 70,000 ट्रेडिंग की दुकानें हैं 70,000 हजार शॉप्स खाली सूरत के होलसेल मार्केट की बात कर रहा हूं रिटेल में तो असंख्य है और अभी मैं आपको एक बात बताऊं कि पिचासी हजार करोड़ का कारोबार पिछले साल सूरत कपड़ा बाजार ने किया कोरोना काल होते हुए भी और इस साल हम करेंगे एक लाख करोड़ का कारोबार अकेले शहर में होलसेल मार्केट में सत्ताईस साल से हम भाजपा को देख रहे हैं गुजरात के अंदर तो भाजप की कथनी और करनी में फर्क नहीं है ठीक है इतना बड़ा सेटअप है इतना बड़ा कारोबार है तो तकलीफें स्वाभाविक है काफी आनी है जैसे नोटबंदी को लेकर तकलीफें आई थी लेकिन सूरत को इतनी तकलीफ नोटबंदी से नहीं आई जीएसटी आई थी तो जीएसटी को लेकर काफी तकलीफें हुई थी धीरे धीरे वो खत्म होती गई लेकिन आज भी कुछ तकलीफें हैं लेकिन इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि हम इस सरकार को छोड़ करके किसी दूसरे की सरकार के पास बैठ जाएं क्योंकि हमें जो कुछ भी लेना है इसी सरकार से लेना वजह नगर निगम में बीजेपी गुजरात असेंबली में बीजेपी केंद्र में बीजेपी तो हमें जो कुछ मिलेगा तो बीजेपी से ही मिलेगा यहाँ पे छोटे व्यापारी द आम आदमी पार्टी इज प्रोमिस ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड यूनिट ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आपका मतलब है की रेवड़ी से लोग बीमार पड़ता है रेवड़ी से क्या है वो रेवड़ी देंगे तो पैसा कहां से लाएंगे पैसा कहां से लाएंगे तो फिर यहाँ की जो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी है आज कोई भी आदमी एक मिनट में 20 बार पलक झपकता है यहाँ पे तीन दिन कभी हमने बिजली गए हुए नहीं देखा है पानी की प्रॉब्लम नल खोलते ही पानी आता है मैं आपको दाखला दूं मैं महाराष्ट्र में कोई गया था अपने रिश्तेदार के यहाँ पे तो मैंने जैसे ही बेजिन में ऐसे हाथ खोल के ऐसे हाथ किया तो बोले ये सूरत नहीं है ये गुजरात नहीं है ये उन्होंने दाखला दिया तो ये चीज जो हमारे को अवेलेबल मिल रही है तो हम नहीं चाहेंगे कि रेवड़ी की सरकार को हम वोट करेंगे जीएसटी 2017 जुलाई में आया काफी तकलीफें थी धीरे धीरे दूर हो सकी आज भी एक बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है नवंबर 2021 में एक नोटिफिकेशन आता है अभी फेबरी के पे पांच परसेंट जीएसटी है बारह परसेंट का नोटिफिकेशन आता है हाहाकार मचता है एक दिन की यहाँ टोकरी स्ट्राइक होती है मैं खुद दिल्ली निर्मला सीतारमण जी के वित्त मंत्रालय में मीटिंग में था मैंने दो तीन बार प्रश्न किया हमने हमारी बात रखी कि मैम 140 परसेंट की बढ़ोतरी जो जीएसटी पहले कपड़े पे था ही नहीं पांच परसेंट लगाया हमने स्वीकार किया अब बारह क्यों तो उन्होंने हमारी पूरी बात को सुना आज भी वो पोस्टपोन्डेड है वेन इट कम्स टू द आम आदमी पार्टी इज प्रोमिस ऑफ वन थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑनरेरियम फॉर वुमेन जो चुनाव अभी हो रहा है आम आदमी पार्टी ने बोला है हजार रुपया हर औरत को देंगे वो तो दिखा हुआ है खाली बोले कोई ऐसा नहीं तो दे देगा एक जन का हजार रुपया कोई देगा तो कह के लिए कोई मेहनत करेगा वो तो खाली दिखा हुआ है वो लोग का हजार रुपया देगा ऐसा तो आपको भरोसा नहीं है क्या होगा नहीं भरोसा क्यों ऐसे बोलते चुनाव वो ऐसे बोलते चुनाव में बताने वाले कोई 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 हजार पाँच सौ की लालू देख के वैसे ही रहेंगे ना गरीब लोग को कोई देगा Besides textiles, Surat is a hub for the global diamond trade. Known for polishing 9 out of 10 diamonds in the world, Surat houses roughly 6000 diamond polishing units that employs nearly 1 million workers and an annual turnover of over 1.6 trillion rupees. The traditional diamond industry is today expanding into lab grown diamonds. Basically when we started with lab grown diamonds. Sanket Patel is a third generation diamond merchant. After studying global business management in London, he returned home in 2016 and brought the idea of this generational shift in the diamond industry. You are a third generation diamond merchant. The question is what makes you interested in diamonds? What makes me interested in diamonds is basically my grandfather started this company 60 years ago 
right? We were doing earth mine diamonds earlier. Now we've diverted ourselves into lab grown diamonds, which is the new generation diamond, I would say, uh, which is more sustainable, which is more uh, environmentally friendly, which is more, uh, uh, more uh, budget friendly as well. And uh, it's the same as diamonds. So people are moving forward. People are seeing development. People are seeing changes in the world. So this is why they are starting to prefer lab-grown diamonds, and that's what interested me in joining the business because we had something else to do and some something new to do. For the youth, what is it that excites you about politics, or are you not interested in politics? No, I'm very much into uh, into politics. I'm very interested in it uh, because that does matter. Like what uh, right now, when we go to see where India is standing in the world map is uh, truly in the last 10 years uh, the way the indian uh, all the all the sectors have grown let's talk about it let's talk about the diamond industry which we are in uh, the exports and everything else like everybody i think stands in another podium as of now because of the changes the government has made that's what we think and believe and uh, for so far so good we are enjoying the growth i've come down 6 years back from london so in the past six years, I would say, so what we've seen is we've seen a lot of changes in policies, a lot of changes in, uh, you know, the infrastructure of our city as well, like what I come from is Surat. So what, and, 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 the, and, the, and, the, and the support the government is giving towards all the, even, even the small startups is really incredible because what we've seen in Surat, we only talk about textile and diamond, right? But right now in Surat, there's another sector which is growing really incredibly well, which is the IT sector. Right, so they are doing really great because of the support with the government, good policies, and that's how it begins. And you, since you're emphasizing on good policies, help us understand as a diamond merchant, what are the policies that have been conducive for you? Right. So basically, right now uh, there is a trade agreement which opened up recently with Australia as well. If you go to know, so it becomes easier for our jewelers to export the jewelry, get it in the right price, right? Uh, also, for example, what we are doing is with lab-grown diamonds. Right, we're getting a few subsidies in electricity. We're uh, during our uh, exports, we are getting good benefits. So these certain things do matter. There are a few things which the government will, will get in place because this is just the beginning of the lab-grown diamond industry, and it is a long way to go. The startup craze has also caught up with Irshad Danawala. His father was in the textile business, but this IT professional who worked at IBM in Pune for nine years 15 CF, yearly turnover. decided to start his own services and technology company, CodaCube, in 2015. Today, he employs 80 people with a turnover of 15 crore. From the government, uh, if I tell you, yesterday itself we had a roadshow from the digital DST department of the government. Uh, they helped us in terms of understanding the IT policy which was launched in August this year. So government has come up with a lot of, uh, of reimbursements and benefits when it comes to IT. Uh, but the thing is, yeah, as I said, the uh, IT industry is booming a lot, but it is not yet structured. Like uh, there are no specific IT parks in Surat. And you know, Gujarat of course has uh, a lot of thrust on entrepreneurship. Correct. Um, are you one of those who feel that the focus should be on job creation rather than, uh, you know, looking for government jobs? Definitely, and if, as you said, it is correct that uh, entrepreneurship and business is in bloods of Gujaratis. And specifically, when it comes to Surat, I think you, has, you might have seen most of the people are doing uh, going into business side of the game and not into jobs. So there's a lot of traction there, and I think government is also pushing hard for that. And with the recent changes in terms of digitization, I think there is a boom in terms of uh, technology being replaced in the traditional business also. Since I'm talking to you in an election season, yeah. uh, there are several political parties. Mm -hmm. um, and and um, as, as a young Gujarati, mm -hmm. uh, what are your considerations when you will be going to cast your vote? So basically the consideration is work, the person or the candidate who has done the best work, who is giving options to people so that they can grow is the one where the can, people will go because knowledge is what is the predominant thing, right, for me because I am an educated person, I would like to see a person who wants, who understands my need, who is ready to do a drastic change in terms of development and most of the people 
uh, or a young generation are looking into that direction and they are definitely going to vote in that direction. That all will come into the Prasanthi development module. The Muslims of Surat don't want to be drawn into the political slugfest over the hijab controversy and other polarizing issues. This group of women say only education and skill development are the way forward. Being a teacher for last 20 years, what I realized is that uh, our girls, like our community girls, they need skills. And uh, education basically is about uh, imparting skills, right? And uh, in our community, we have seen that girls were not given that much of opportunities what uh, you know other community people get. So with that mission in mind that a center which uh, caters to the needs of these girls, whether they are the basic courses or they are courses with respect to English or uh, the courses with respect to technology. So they should be at par with everything. So with that vision, we thought of uh, starting this center. We have many classes in TOTC center. There has been a lot of debate around hijab these days. There is debate around whether Muslims, Muslim girls should be allowed to enter mosque, jo jama masjid ke context mein abhi kuch, kuch din pehle hua, lekin wo withdraw ho gaya tha order. Jib aap is tarah ke debate sunti hai, to kya lagta hai aapko? What do you think? Aisa mahol hai aaj kal, ki hijab and uh, ye sabhi kuch chal raha hai jo, but it depends on the choice, first of all. So, pehle to hume apni community ko upgrade karna hai. Education is important. First of all, education pe focus karenge, aur uh, ye sabhi to choice wali chije hai. Uh, one can wear is up or not. It's up to the choice. But abhi education and uh, skill development, ye first preference hai. In Adajan Patiya in southwest Surat, this center of Talim o Tarbiyat run by Hina Naviwala and Arfana Irfan has seen an enrollment of 800 girls for computer and spoken English courses. A lot of uh, young boys and girls who are moving towards entrepreneurship. There are startups that are coming in Surat as well. What do you see your future as? So for me, the thing is like as a woman, as a young Muslim that I am, I look forward to like, you know, the youth, every girl should have that power, staying in your limits, your boundaries, following your vision, your religion, your beliefs, you should achieve and, and I believe that every individual, every girl has that thing that they can achieve whatever they want to. So like I have done like I was really into psychology and I have done my bachelor's in psychology from Surat itself and uh, I did my internship as well the last year only. Uh, either we don't get that uh, opportunity ya to hamare paas wo center nahi hota hai ya to we don't have that resource person and just because of that hum log piche ho jate hain. And uh, when I got to know about this center through Hinamis I was like I want to join. I want to empower women and their skills and related to them like I know they can do whatever they want to either it's education it's any skill we are sitting in Surat Surat is shahar mein entrepreneurship ka ek culture hai Gujarat mein uh, business is believed to be in blood of each and every Gujarati yes. so what are the shift that you are seeing are girls learning skill sets and opening their businesses yeah, I have seen uh, this uh, tremendous uh, change in the society uh, post-COVID because, you know, these two years of lockdown where girls were at home and they have really come out with their fabulous creativity. I mean, those women who were just cooking a simple sabji roti at home, they started their catering business. See, they had to support their family because we have seen lots of recession after post-COVID and they were there to support their family. I am talking to all of you at a time when the elections are going to take place. Yes. So what are your political choices and what will be deciding your vote? When you go to vote, what do you think about vote? Of course, ma'am, uh, the first priority would be the opportunities that we would be given okay as a minority so my first choice would be like you know that what all opportunities uh, whether it is education or it is social opportunities how far we are going to get 
so that will be my first deciding factor to vote gujarat na panota putra mannya shri narendra bhai modi In 2017 it was a major surprise when the BJP pulled off a victory despite the anti-GST protests and patidar agitation. The BJP won 14 of Surat's 16 seats and the Congress secured two in the tribal pockets. The Aam Aadmi Party hopes to gain a foothold by challenging the BJP's urban dominance in Gujarat. The party aims to expand on its early success in Surat's municipal elections where it won 27 seats to emerge as the principal opposition to the BJP in the civic body. Aam Aadmi Party's Gujarat president and Patidar leader Gopal Italia is also contesting from Surat's Katargam seat. The battle lines are drawn as Surat votes on December 1. In Surat with video journalist Pramod this is Maria Shakil